Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon How To Guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris. And in today's guide, we're going to be going over all the steps you need to know to farm as much Dynite ore as you want. So as you can see, we are in the Max Adventure Lair or the Max Lair here. And this is where you do your Max Adventures. Uh, you speak to this NPC character here, the Doctor Lady, and she will allow you to progress into the Dynamax Adventure raids and this lady here, this NPC character, actually lets you exchange Dynite or for special items. So you can get candies, Dynamax candy, obviously wishing pieces, Armorite or and then all your uh, vitamins. You can get some balls. The Beast Ball is there, but as you can see, it costs 150 Dynite. At the minute, we've got five, which is nuts. Bottle Caps, Ability Capsule, and this is also where you get the Ability Patch as well, which can change normal abilities into hidden abilities. But again, a bit like the Beast Ball, it's kind of priced out at 200 Dynite ores. So what we want to do is try and farm these to get a hold of these more rare items, especially if you're grinding for shiny legendaries, you want to catch them in beast balls, or if you've got a lot of those old shiny Pokemon that you've maybe caught in previous games or just Pokemon that you've been breeding with their normal ability that you want to turn into their hidden ability. Now to do this, you will need really to take advantage of a feature called the Endless Dynamax Adventure where you can just go on and on and on. You aren't going to stop battling when you face that legendary. You're just going to continue on and battling Pokemon until you eventually run out of lives. And at the end of that, you will get a lot more Dynite ore than you would have been given normally in a regular Dynamax Adventure run. The NPC that you would need to speak to is this NPC character here, the Doctor. When you first speak to him, he will say, hmm, oh, you, huh? I appreciate the hello, but you're not ready for what I've got to offer. Try me again when you've got some more of these Dynamax adventures under your belt. So how do you unlock the endless Dynamax adventures? Well, you need to progress through Dynamax adventures. So how do we unlock these endless Dynamax raids? Well, what we do know is you've got to complete a set number of Dynamax adventure runs. Now, that is just your regular runs that you're going into now. How many we need to complete? Well, there's no confirmation and no one really knows the exact number right now. There are people saying five. There are people saying ten. There is information out there saying it's more or less. Right now, in game, I have complete three max adventure raids. So what we're going to do in this guide is just continually play through them until we are able to access them and then take that's a number that you will need to do as a minimum to unlock this facility so we'll dive into it and we'll see how many it takes currently i have complete up to this point in game three dynamax adventure raids so we will start tallying them up as we go until this facility is unlocked so we just come to the end of our first raid in the two that we need to do uh, where we bumped into tapalele so we're just going to check if they're shiny along the way because obviously you can do this and there is a chance that some of them might be shiny. Unfortunately, this time, none of them are. Just to check, if you speak to this guy again, still not enough. So we'll do one more max raid. This would take us to five in total that we've done in this game so far. And hopefully that is enough and confirmation that we will be able to get the endless Dynamax adventures. Okay, well, we've just complete our second raid den. I'm not going to take any of the Pokemon. We couldn't catch Tapu Koko, unfortunately, because we had bad typing and all that. So, excuses aside, we have now finished five raid dens. Now is the moment of truth, the confirmation. So it is not five. It is not five. We're going to continue on until we find out how many it is. So we've finally done our next raid. And uh, none of them are shiny. But we are going to leave Lele for our shiny hunting and see if now. Okay, so that isn't correct. Let's go back in and do it again. Right, friends. So after a bunch of testing with the Dynamax Adventures, I can kind of confirm that you either need to do five Dynamax Adventures in a row, so one after another, or you need to do around eight Dynamax Adventures in total to unlock the endless Dynamax Adventures. So these are the prerequisites from my findings in game. I've just done them all now. 
and once you've done that final one you speak to this npc character here and he will change his text so it will say so how about it you likes dynamax adventures of course you do clever lad you've taken on loads of them after all for someone as skilled as dynamax adventures as you are i thought up a little something special an endless dynamax adventure what do you say? Are you interested? An endless Dynamax adventure is just what it sounds like. It's endless. Even after you defeat one of the special Pokemon that lie within, you can keep onward, uh, keep going onward to see how far you can push yourself. All of the Pokemon you catch in this mode uh, will be going towards my research, I'm afraid, so I won't be letting you keep any after the fact. But in return, I'll load you up with even more Dynamite ore than you usually get. And of course, we'll keep keep records of how far you make it so you can try and push yourself to your limits together with your mates you want to give an endless dynamax adventure a girlfriend yes we do so i want to actually just see how kind of far we can get in this and how many dynamite all we are going to be able to get now it will be easier if you do this online for this though i'm just going to do it with npc characters to see how far we can get and what the dynite all payout is so normally with a max rate adventure your payout for dynite all is around three to six is the most that i've had so it, it'll be interesting to see how much we can get um more if we just say do one extra battle uh, or two extra battles and three and so on so what i'll do i will start out now and then we will come back to this once we have finished this little run that we're doing at the moment so we've complete our first legendary in this endless dynamax raid so let's see where it takes us after this we uh, don't actually get the opportunity to catch this so that's interesting when you do start the endless dynamax adventure you do get told that any pokemon that will be uh, you will encounter throughout your your journey you will not be able to keep so um, it is important to keep that in mind. You can catch the Pokemon on, on your way, but you cannot catch the special legendary Pokemon. And also, I believe you aren't able to record the path to the legendaries that you come in contact with. Now, this isn't going to affect how you're able to hunt for these legendaries. If you come across, say, Blacephalon that we just came across, it doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to hunt or shiny hunt Blacephalon later on in in your quest uh, a dynamax adventure when you uh, get around to trying to hunt that one so we are going to continue on the dynamax the dynite ore is hopefully stocking up and we'll be back once we complete our next legendary or if we get knocked out before then okay so we've just beat our second legendary in our dynamax endless run so we'll see obviously as you can see you can't catch it you just defeat it and then it disappears I'm guessing that's what it's going to be like. The storm seems to have died down a bit. Okay, so that's the sign that we get. But we move on. So every time you move into a new den, your hearts get replenished as well, which is quite nice. So it's not like you've got four hearts for the entire run. You're going to have new hearts at every single run that you go through. Again, what we're going to do is run through this one. And I'll see you at the end when we get to the, the, the legendary Okay, we are at our third legendary now, which is Zerkatry, and I think we're about to lose this one as our fourth Pokemon is going to be taken down. The beast boosts are stacking up. Zerkatry is a monster, so we are going to be able to see now what we receive for our Dynite Ore in return. So, 33 Dynite Ore is what we get. Investigated the den played in endless mode, so we get 22 for that. So, I complete third cycle through. I captured nine Pokemon in total. Uh, you can't catch the legendaries if we'd complete that one. It would have been then 12 Pokemon in total that I would have completed. So 33 Dynite Ore isn't too bad, but it is not anywhere near that Beast Ball yet. You're going to have to grind a lot to get uh, the, the amount you need for one Beast Ball, which is just crazy. So if there are other methods in the uh, the 
in the crown tundra that we can use to grind and farm these items a little bit easier then i will definitely update you with a video on that so you can see the uh, dynamax adventures endless mod records we've got the uh, scavalier there and obviously i think if you do it with friends as well it's going to be a lot easier you're going to be using working as a team there was a lot of times there where the npcs are kind of conflicting and their move choices weren't the best so i think you could easily get a lot deeper than just uh, the third run if you have tried this yourself and you have a lot of success with it let me know how far you've got down below and what your biggest haul of dynamite ore is i'm wondering if it will stack as you go on into the dynamite adventures and then you'll get even more as an accumulation at the end but uh, we'll have a look how many dynamite ore we've got from just unlocking the endless adventures as well as everything else so we got 61 we're on our path well, we're on a, some sort of path to getting that beast ball. And uh, 150 dynamite off for one beast ball just seems crazy. Don't know why they've done that, unfortunately. And I don't know why the ability... I can kind of understand the ability patch being priced out so much. But at least make dynamite all a little more accessible within the game. So... Friends, that wraps it up for us today. I hope you found this useful. This is a new way for us to actually start farming Dynine or it is going to be a valuable item in the Crown Tundra, for, especially for competitive play uh, when you're looking at items like the Ability Capsule and for Shiny Hunters as well for those Beast Balls. But it's going to take a little while to get them. But if you're sitting with friends casually playing through the Endless Adventure, you can just chat and then just r keep rinse and repeat through it all. And uh, like I say, your hearts do get replenished each time that you do start a new run of four Pokemon. So thank you so much for tuning in. As always, if you have enjoyed this episode and found it useful, please do drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more of this sort of content and other Pokemon content that we do here on the channel. And leave your comments down below. Let me know those runs for the Dynamax Endless Runs. I'd love to hear the longest one that uh, you guys have done and uh, we'll wrap it up there. So take care of yourselves and until next time, bye-bye.